Hi, Peter Charles here for Life Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the uh, baby bass streamer. It's uh, a little bit more challenging than a standard woolly bugger, but it's not that big a deal. It's fairly straightforward, and it imitates the uh, fingerling uh, smallmouth bass that swim in the shallows, and they're a relatively light olive color in my neck of the woods, and you see the, the dark tail on them. And anything that small is going to be dinner for anything bigger. Uh, in some of our uh, trout areas, we have a mix of uh, bass and trout, so you can definitely fish uh, these uh, streamers in those waters. So let's get started and have a look at the material. Our hook today is a size one salmon single. I prefer salmon hooks uh, because the up eye has the uh, hook riding more level. But if you wanted to use a standard down eye streamer hook, you could. Our thread is a Unithread 6 aught in olive. I'd prefer a light olive for this, but I've gone and run out, so I forgot to buy more. The rib is Unimylar Pearl. The body is white yarn. This is just knitting wool. The underwing is white bucktail. The flash is pearlescent crystal flash. And then the rest of the wing is composed of two bucktails a light olive, and a regular olive. Oh, forgot the hackle, and the hackle is a light olive. The eyes we're going to use are uh, prismatic red. Remember that uh, smallmouth bass have red eyes, so that's the reason for that. And we're going to keep those eyes on with uh, Danville's monofilament ultrafine. So, let's get started tying the fly. Since this is a salmon hook, it has a loop eye, so the first thing we do is bind that down. Next step is to tie in our mylar. Now our yarn. Bring the thread forward. Now we've got a bit of a lump there where I tie the material in, so start by holding your yarn tight while you're on the lump and then as you come off the lump back off on the tension and you'll get a nice smooth flat body. I'm just going to wrap this uh, on the bottom. Now we put in our rib. The next step is our hackle, and I've trimmed off most of it, and I've just left that little triangle at the front for as a tying in point. Okay, now we wind on the hackle, and we want to stroke those fibers back. So when we wind it on, they stay back. Try to avoid getting these fibers trapped as well. Okay, and the next step is the uh, white bucktail, and we're going to uh, stack this using a hair stacker. And the purpose for using a hair stacker is to align the points of the uh, bucktail. Just wrap it on the table, keep it level, grab the tips. Now I'm going to choose a point of my vise uh, as a, a measuring point, roughly double the length of the hook shank. I'm just going to use a pinch loop. Make sure it's on there, nice and square. Now I'm going to lift this up and trim this off. 
Now you've seen me, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll see that I cut that off ahead of time. I'm showing you a different method this time, where you can cut it off while you're tying it on the fly. There's advantages to both ways. Now we're going to put on the crystal flash. If you've not used crystal flash before, don't take it out of the bag. Cut the corners off. And then you just come in with your bodkin and pick out what you need. I just need three. Now with that crystal flash, flash trim it off the same length as the uh, bucktail. Now we put in our light olive. As far as the proportions of the bucktail go, I, uh, the, uh, the biggest clump is the white, followed by the light olive, and the dark olive will be, or the regular olive will be, the smallest clump. And use a pinch loop, pull up. When you check to make sure it's sitting correctly, give it a tweak if it isn't. we go. And finally we're going to put on the regular olive. Line it up with the um, previous uh, bucktail you tied in. Pinch loop, pull up. Check to make sure it's on top properly. Now you get why I don't always use this method. We end up with these strays sometimes. You have to come in and clip, clip them off. This method of putting in bucktail is a little quicker than the trimming I was showing you earlier, which you have to sort of be a little bit more accurate with your method, but you often end up with a more even head. I'm having to add some extra wraps on here in order to get the uh, head to smooth out. And the reason why I'm doing that, and I'm not particularly worried about it, is I'm going to be putting on a rather large eye, so I need a rather large head, so this kind of works out. There's our whip finish for our thread. Now we're going to come in with our Mylar stick on eyes. Just pick them off with your bodkin. Now we come in with our Danville uh, monofilament. It's ultra fine, so it breaks easy, so don't put too much tension on it. Grab the eyes and wrap over them. Now that looks kind of ugly, but when we put the uh, glue on, most of that uh, ugliness will disappear. The next step, we're actually going to remove it from the vise because we're going to paint on the black tail of a baby bass using a marker. So all I'm doing is pinching the fibers together and coloring it with the marker. Here we have the dark tail. So now we're ready to uh, to our head cement. I'm going to start with the UV glue. If you've not used UV glue before, don't go in heavy coats. 
uh, go in thin coats because uh, you'll find that with a heavy coat this uh, UV light doesn't get all the way to the bottom and it never really cures unless you leave it in strong sunlight for a long time. To finish off, we're going to put on some top coat, which is something women use on their fingernails. It's not nail polish, it's top coat. It's meant to go other over other polish or glues. So that's why it works on this uh, application as well. Now what the top coat does is it seals the uh, UV glue and keeps it nice and glossy and hard. You don't have to worry about it getting cloudy and peeling off. So there's our baby bass, all ready to go. Give it a try. Uh, I found that there's a lot of these little fingerling uh, bass in our local rivers, and there's no reason why bigger fish, including bigger bass, won't feed on them. So give it a try. Cheers.